Next one is a murder mystery. <laughs> the quick answer to that is absolutely no. Uh, <laughs> but then at the same time, you know, you never know what's going to occur. I never expected to write an autobiography. I didn't expect to be around long enough to write anything of, it, of any importance. But it happened to coincide with uh, my first daughter, Angela, having my fifth grandchild. And somehow those two things sort of locked in. And then I realized also from that point that I really did want to give my grandfather, Gus, his due for turning me on to music, to, or to the guitar especially. That uh, anything can happen. And that if you can, if you work at it, especially if it's something you love, it could well happen. And also, he taught me that uh, grandparents and the relationship between grandparents and grandkids can be very, very important. It was very interesting because uh, it's the first time she'd done a professional, you know, job of, of, with the deadlines and stuff. And she was so pro on it. She, she went to London, she went to research all the places. She was constantly calling me saying, where did he take you on that day? What shop was it that you're talking about? And whereabouts in London did he take you for walks? And she was a bit nervous about it to start with. But once she got going, I said, these are perfect kind of illustrations we need. She got, she got the tone of the whole thing right down. I'm very proud of her, you know. I have, uh, cut over the last couple of years uh, an album here. So looking for the right time to bring that up, probably be next year, some, sometime next year. We stay together. <laughs> it's quite simple. We happen to love each other. Um, she can put up with me, which is very difficult to find a woman, especially one as beautiful as that, that will put up with me. Um, and my lifestyle, or at least, you know, just my, my nature of my job, you know. I'm not saying it's difficult, but it's a juggle. But uh, my wife's made it very easy for me. <laughs>